Okay, these are examples of questions that would be asked on the new Part B Book of Specs. So I'm going to give you an example of three questions. These are what they would look like. It's, it says a transversal side being A, A, B, B, C, C, whatever it is, whatever they want to name it, was performed on a test specimen, but the well did not end up in the curvature of the bend. No fracture was noted. What shall be done? And to find this answer, you look in the book of spec on page 22, paragraph 5.4.2. You see, I got it highlighted. And if you read that highlighted section, you'll find out that the answer would be D. Disregard and replace specimen prepared from the original well met. And the second question, what entry would be made on line 10 of the procedural qualification test record if the filament metal being used was an E316L? So first you look at Annex 8 and you find line 10, which I highlighted, and you need to put the specification number there. So to find the specification of a three of an E316L, you go to Annex number 2 on page 33 and you see I got it highlighted you'll see EXX -X in parentheses you got another X whatever is in parentheses would be a letter so that'll be E316L so the answer will, will be A5.4 for the specification number okay the next question is a procedure was qualified that had the requirements for a particular chemical analysis the analysis reveal you have 0.15 carbon, 0.5 chromium, 0.5 millennium, 2.0 nickel, 1.75 uh, manganese, and 0.99 silicon. So now we have to find the number. So first you go to tape, uh, annex number one is your A number tables. So first we're going to look at the carbon. In this column here, the carbon. And note that down here I got highlighted and say single values in a table or the maximum value. So everything meets the value in for the carbon content. So you got 0.15. Next one is the chromium 0.5. So we notice that that eliminates uh, number one, A number one. So everything else look good that falls within that range. Then you look at molybdenum, which is 0.5, and you know that that still eliminates a1 and you go on down and you see so and then you're looking at 2.0 nickel so you look at the nickel you notice that it eliminated number one through seven because those are the maximum value if you look at seven it's 0.8 so it's way over 0 0.8 it's at 0 0.2 so now we're looking at 8 9 10 11 and 12 but if you look at your answer, it's nothing else there but 12 or none of the above. So let's go to 12 and see if it all falls within the, the uh, A number 12. So it's got 0.15, which is good. It's got 0.5 on the chromium, which is 1.5 is the maximum, so it's good. Millennium, it has 0.5, so it falls in between a range of 0.25. Uh, to 0.80 so we good there then we look at the nickel uh, 2 so it falls within the range of the nickel and then you look at the uh, manganese which is 1.75 which it falls in that range and then the silicon 0.99 so it falls there because the maximum of a silicon is 1 so the answer would be 12 so that's how you found the answers to the questions in part B Alright, I hope this helped.